city to me. So the last couple of months I've been getting these Ipsy glam bags in the mail. They're like beauty kits with samples of makeup and hair products and because like because you can see I need lots of hair products. But anyway, it's only like $10 a month and it's something my sister had me sign up for so that she could get one, like a free one. And um, so now this is actually my third one and I decided to show it because I like it and I think I'm gonna keep getting this subscription. But I am gonna film opening up this one this month. It's not gonna be like a typical like unboxing slash beauty vlog because I don't watch beauty vlogs, obviously. I don't do it. <laughs> and obviously I don't do them, but I'm still interested and I wanna like get better. I know I'm a little bit of a late bloomer into the whole like makeup and stuff and everything, but I'm still learning. So this one is for August and it, this is how it comes. And each month you get one of these cute little like pouches and it says like Ipsy on it right here and everything, but it's a different one for every month. And let's open it up and see what I got inside this month. So the first thing that's in here is a Perfect Shine Oil Mist, Hair Oil Mist by Nature Lab, which I'll try that out here in a second since I actually have nothing in my hair so I can put something in it. Ah! That's how you do it. You throw it all on the floor. <laughs> Quick way to get it out of the bag. Great, okay. All right, so, and then there's, doo -doo -doo. anyway, so like this card just has some information about products and stuff in it. And uh, um, like the one thing about Ipsy is that if there's something in the glam bag that you like and that you want, you can get it um, through their website and then you can get cash back on it. And so then that cash back can go towards future purchases. So like if I had, for example, this Perfect Shine Oil Mist, if I decided I wanted to purchase the full size of it, I could order it at Ipsy, and then you know I might get 30% cash back towards a future purchase, or I could actually get cash back. Like once you have a certain amount, like $20 worth of cash back, you can actually get the money, or you can apply it towards another purchase. So I haven't actually bought anything from them online yet, but uh, there are products that I probably will in the future because like last month I got this MAC primer that I really, really liked. So I might order it from them if they have a deal on it and if they don't, I'll just go and get it at the MAC store. But either way, they're selling me on some of these products. So that's the first one. Next, we have a Smashbox. Ooh, I like Smashbox. Ooh, and this is like a regular size one too. It's a Smashbox concealer. And this is in light. Yeah, and I have like super fair skin as you can see. So hopefully, like I was kind of nervous when I was putting in my preferences for products because I do have really light skin and I don't know if I'm like the lightest or the next to lightest. It's really hard for me to know, but this one looks pretty good. But that's literally a full size Smashbox concealer right there, which is awesome. I'll give that a try. And then, I have a O Thermal Avant. I don't know how to say it. And <laughs> like, there's the brand. <laughs> kind of hard to see. Well, anyway, it's it's A V E with a little accent over any cleanance cleansing gel for the face. So this will be good. I'm always looking for new things to try on my face too. So Ten this bucks will be nice. Bean. I'm pretty like relig like not religious. I. I use a charcoal soap from Basin that I've been getting for years and then I put like oil of Olay lotion on it and that's pretty much my entire cleansing routine for my face. So I'll be interested to try some new things because I do get breakouts, especially down here. So cleanance, cleanance cleansing gel. Walk through. I have some foot problems. Oh, so you gotta talk about your foot problems during my Ipsy unboxing? Yeah, I, I think this is kind of important. Right, well, hold on one second. Okay. Just totally. You're opening up a thing. Wait, one second. See <laughs> no, this is. It does not look like it. No. So this is a Pixie by Petra Blush Duo, and the colors in it are Peach Honey, which will be cool.
He like totally killed my vibe. I'm gonna see what's wrong with this foot. Oh, this is really good color. And then a little Macy and Mia sampler of some lip gloss. And this is Ava is the color. I don't know if you can get it. It's like a pinkish blushy mm -hmm. color. I know it looks really cute. So I'm gonna put some of these random things on my hair and in my face. Just these items. So everybody can kind of see if you can even tell they're on my skin. <laughs> it's gonna be weird just doing like concealer and stuff. Simon, what's wrong? Okay, so it's kind of weird because I used like, um, like a concealer without a foundation and like I put on blush, but nothing else. And so the hair stuff was like just a shine mist. So I sprayed it in and it's not anything for like styling, which, you know, obviously I need to do because my hair is everywhere. But just get used to this because as I grow it out, it's just going to get wilder and wilder. There's nothing I'm going to be able to do about it. It's just, I don't like to apply a lot of heat to my hair. So I kind of just let it go natural. And as it grows, it's just going to get really funky. So just accept that. Okay. But, uh, um. But it's a shine mist and actually it is really lightweight my hair doesn't feel greasy or oily or anything at all but i put the shine mist in and i don't know if you can even tell that there's a difference <laughs> and then i put like one shade of the blush on one cheek and one shade on the other i don't wear a lot of blush in the first place but i this stuff is really really pale like it's like kind of hard to see so i think if i did it i'd probably want to mix it with something that's a little bit darker or just put more of it on but uh, um, and then I used the concealer without foundation which is kind of weird but the color was actually perfect and I don't know how well it shows up on camera but I put it some in like a few spots where I have some blemishes and it really matches my skin perfectly so it's a great color I'm glad that's a full-size concealer so I'm excited to have that because concealer is something that I never really used because I wasn't really sure how to use it but I actually looked up a video on like how you would put it under your eyes and you know in other places and so now I'm like a little bit more confident in using concealer because my my worst fear about putting makeup on especially when I put on more products is having it look cakey or like too much makeup and I don't want I don't want that stage makeup look that I'm seeing on girls everywhere because it's like it's like they don't care what they look like in real life. They only care about what their selfies and their pictures look like. So it's like they wear this ridiculous amount of makeup so their skin is flawless and perfectly made up in pictures. But when you look at them in real life, it's like, where's the clown show? And I don't want that. I want to have a natural look in real life because I'm not vain about how I look on the camera. Like this is what a person looks like. And I'm okay with that. I don't buy into the whole perfect beauty philosophy I like to see what people actually look like like when I see inquirers in all those other magazines on the rack they're like oh check out this horrific picture of Selena Gomez with no makeup on it's just like she looks like Selena Gomez like I you know I don't need for me makeup is just it's about beauty but it's also about fun and like I like it but I'm not trying to like be dramatic, if that makes sense. Because like I said, I'm, I'm old and I'm just now like learning about it in the first place. So then finally, the lip color is a very, very neutral color, but I really like the way the gloss feels. So I think what I would wanna do with this one is use like a darker shade underneath, like a lipstick underneath, and then like put the gloss on top for a nice blend, but get a little bit of like rouge out of the pinkness that's in there. So there's my first ever Ipsy Glam Bag review.